So, hello. Um, I just wanted to come on here and check in with another health-related <laughs> topic. Um, I I have been um, a carrier for MRSA for about a year now. I was hospitalized Thanksgiving before last. That would be 2019 with my first MRSA outbreak. I think I got it from the time before when I was in the hospital for something unrelated. Anyway, so um, this outbreak is significant because um, on, let's see, it was December 27th, um, I got my COVID booster shot, and the MRSA did not come from the COVID, but I got so sick with the booster, um, I got feverish and achy and nauseous and just pretty much every symptom, Um and also from, I think, the stress of being sick, it caused a MRSA outbreak for me. So this is like my fifth or sixth one since last year. So it's not uncommon, but this one was particularly severe. And I think that's because I was already sick from the COVID booster, which I still think everybody should get their booster shots if they are able to, if there's no contra indications for it. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so on the 27th, I got my COVID booster, and within a couple of days, um, I was very, very sick. Um, and I noticed that I had a couple of teeny tiny MRSA, I can't even really call them sores, they were teeny tiny spots, like, like little pimples. Um, one of them never did develop into anything. It's just still a red spot. It like raised up a tiny bit and went down and that was it, which was really nice. Um, the other first one got to about the size of a quarter. It blistered and burst and then healed without any intervention at all, um, except a little bit of ointment to go on it. Um, about the time that one was... In the middle of healing, like it was blistered, I noticed a couple more spots pop up. Um, one on my inner left thigh and one on the back of my left leg, right in the crease where my leg meets my rear end. So a hard place to bandage and I couldn't really see it very well. I could um, basically go by feel. I could tell what was happening and um, both of those um, secondary sores got bigger and bigger and bigger, very similar to the one that landed me in the hospital in 2019 that was on my abdomen. These got to be about half that size. And, um, for reference, the, the one from my abdomen from 2019, it was like golf ball sized, which is pretty much what these were, but this one went from golf ball size to potato like overnight. It was swelling like crazy and oozing like crazy, and um, it was just a big mess. And in fact, I had to have wound care after I was in the hospital for several days with IV antibiotics. I had to go see wound care twice a week for a while to have that monitored and treated so that it would heal properly. So anyway, these two that I'm dealing with right now, um, a, they got worse and worse and worse and they got to be about golf ball sized, but they were like big mounds underneath and they were hot and feverish. So I went to the doctor to get on antibiotics and he looked at the one on my inner thigh and he's like, oh yeah, that's definitely MRSA. So he prescribed the ointment and um, some more doxycycline. This um, particular doxycycline, I just take once a day. And I'm today was my fourth dose of it, and I'm actually starting to feel better. But um, again, even after the symptoms from getting the booster shot, the shaky muscles and the feverishness and nausea and all that had pretty much subsided. Um, I became sicker again with this MRSA infection because it's, it, it's strong. And, um, yeah, I, I get feverish and weak and lose my appetite, which actually I don't mind, but I <laughs> lose my appetite and basically want to sleep all the time. So, yeah, I got the antibiotics. I'm putting the ointment on. But my issue <laughs> that I was going to talk about today with all that, um, that 
sore that I have um, on the back of my left leg, right in the crease, again, uh, where my leg and my rear end come together, that's almost impossible to bandage. Um, I have, <laughs> I've tried gauze, I've tried maxi pads, I've tried <laughs> all kinds of things, um, and it just, bandages just won't stay on. So what I have going on right now is I have kind of a waffle situation um, with maxi pads where I've put six of them together in a waffle pattern and then put them inside my pants um, as a containment situation in case the bandage I have on the sore leaks. Um, and right now, believe it or not, I have a baby diaper um, with medical tape, like a small diaper, um, right in that curve, right over that curve, because that's what fits their best right now. But the problem is the diaper is really stretchy and the tape doesn't really hold. So I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble with that. Um, <laughs> but it's all I can do for now. And my next idea is to try puppy pads, like the, you know, the training pads for little dogs. So I'm going to try, um, one of those next thinking that my clothing will hold it in and I can shape it any way I want. And it's big enough that I won't have to tape it down if my clothes can hold it properly. So that is the dilemma that I'm dealing with right now. And it's frustrating. Um, the last time I had an outbreak was uh, end of August or sometime in September when I found out that a really, really, really good friend of mine had died. And the stress of that caused an outbreak. And so now um, with this outbreak, I, I have a new doctor. Um, my other one moved away. So this guy wants me to do the... Gosh, what do you call it? Anyway, the decontaminating <laughs> protocol, basically. So I'll be washing with the Hibiclin soap, which is an antibacterial one that kills the MRSA germs. And um, putting ointment in my nose. And he has a particular schedule he wants me on. Um, I tried this protocol once before. Um, when? I don't remember it was like January of last year or something obviously didn't work but um something I found on the internet so I think this doctor has a protocol that um, uses the ointment and the uh, Hibiclin soap more frequently on schedule so I'm going to give it a try um, I need to contact him to get the exact instructions because he told me he wanted to use it and then didn't give me <laughs> the information so I will let you guys know in a follow-up um, how the protocol, the cleansing protocol works and how I heal from these MRSA sores. I am not going to show you pictures, um, not only because these sores are in a sensitive area, but because um, it's pretty gross and I've already given you TMI. <laughs> so... Anyway, if you guys have any experiences with MRSA, if you've tried a cleansing protocol that works to keep the MRSA away, I would sure appreciate it. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for listening to my saga. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.